there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum version. In the last episode, we took on the Pastoria Gym. And somehow won. Despite all odds. Uh, last episode, we found out the Gal Team Galactic seems to be wanting to do something with a bomb, but I'm also curious what's down here. You've been in the Great March? How about the Pokemon Mansion? I feel so privileged. Okay. I want to see what's down here, because if there are trainers down here, we could have come here earlier, and I would rather get their experience when it's going to be more worthwhile. And then we'll go just go back and get to where I want to be with the Team Galactic stuff. So, yeah, pro probably arguably delaying it a bit, but... Oh, well. Let's put Duryu out in front. Sure. Look how much higher level Sile is compared to everyone else. And he's not even, like, that high level compared to where he pro we probably should be. Hi, trainer. Can you keep up with me? I don't know. Probably. Hopefully. A Carnivine! I did fight one of these off-screen earlier. It's basically a cool grass-type... Well... He's a giant Venus flytrap. Literally. So, eat my signals. Oh, I just realized why that's a bug type move. It's a computer bug. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually what it means, but like, I'm not, I don't really send a seal that move on like a lot of typical bugs, but seeing it on Porygon makes it make sense to me, in my head. I like that. I don't know if that's intentional, but I'm gonna assume it is. Swagger. I hate Swagger, because it doesn't do anything good for me. It doesn't raise my attack. Because I don't use attack. I use special. And, for whatever reason, every time Duryu gets hit with this uh, swagger, it always makes them miss. Rain continues to fall. That's great of it. Oh, you snapped out very quickly. Nice. I appreciate that. Alright. Duryu's level 30 now. Nice, nice. You got energy to burn. TM6 Toxic. Neat. Am I doing something wrong? Okay. Am I stuck in the bog? This is full body mud pack. Okay. Okay, so you can kind of see like the deeper parts of the mud. They're kind of like square. An elixir. Your Pokemon that grows stronger when it's raining. Yep. One of them is Sile, because he can use Thunder on you. Goldeen. Level 27. Well, I think I want to... I kind of want to use Recover first. Just to get a nice little heal up. Because that's the nice thing about Recover that I really like. It's just... It's basically free healing. Especially if you think you can use it, like, it's just really nice and convenient. Yeah, psychic. Beep. 
Bop. B-Barrel. Let's get out Imperius, because he's... He's low on experience right now. He, out of everybody. Although he's very close to getting a new level. So that's nice. Now by Earthquake, Earthquake will do a nice bit of damage to this guy. Okay, half damage. That's good enough. Water Gun won't kill me, but it will hurt. Alright, Imperious level 29 now. It is a shame that I'm not going to be playing this session for very long, because it would be nice to evolve him. But, oh well. I can, I can probably, like, factor that into next time I do a session, like, okay, so I want to do a bit of a late night session. Shards wanted, Pokemon moves taught. I don't know what moves I'm teaching Pokemon. Dive and Icy Wind. What what moves can you teach anybody? This is a Zen Hudbug trick. What can you teach Sile? Trick Sucker Punch. I guess I can give Icy Wind to do you? Oh, I don't have enough shards. How many blue shards do I have? One. Okay. Wish I had known the prices. Oh good, this is a fisherman route? Oh boy. I don't know if I want to deal with all the fishermen. I'm proud of my Pokemon. I'll show you why. You got an Umbreon. Umbreon is neato. I miss Philo. Philo's cool. He was two games ago, though, so he's old news. Okay. Hmm. You can zip a kind of falling logs on your bike. Yep, that sure is a thing you can do. Silver Wind. That's a bug type move, I believe. That person probably has a thing. Uh, it's like a trainer, is what I mean. Shellos, I don't care about you. I do want a Pokemon, though. Because we are about to get, if I can find them, our last actual team member. Because I think I've pretty much finalized what my team's gonna be. It's gonna be these guys, but mine is Jumper. One of the Pokemon that I need to grab in here. I just need to find them. I kind of realize, like, oh, this is the area where they're supposed to be. And it's not you! Here we go! We've been seeing them all over the place in the game. But now, it's finally time to get one of our own. took long enough for one to show up. Appar I, I checked it up, apparently there are 10% chance in this area. 
You can get them in an area called the Great Marsh, but that's like the Safari Zone, and I don't really want to deal with the Safari Zone. Oh. for the rain, at least, in that regard. Martha, can you get out here and paralyze this guy? Your girl, sorry. You should pay attention to that. That'll definitely help. I forgot to use my quick ball, I'm realizing. Oops. Is Giga Drain gonna kill... I might just waste the Toxic Spikes, let it restore a little bit more HP, and then try it. Because to Toxic Spikes won't do anything to it. Oh, that's just me. No, if it does kill... More though, I can just switch out to someone else. I just want to knock it down to like a more appropriate level. All right, Martha's dead. Whatever. Yeah, I know rain continues to fall. Use next Pokemon. Bluebell might be good for this, actually. I don't think Steel will do much on it. Okay, well now I'm a little bit afraid. Swagger's annoying. Don't kill it. Oh, that's a lot. Oh boy. Okay, let's see the Pokeball then. Ultra Ball, go. Yeah, okay. That was worrisome, but we got him. We got her. Alright. Rarely fights fairly, but as strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. I can agree with that. What will I name her? I know what I'll name her. I will name her... After a different frog. We now have Quoba. She's a cool Apari. Alright! Uh, I'm gonna go heal up. And get her on our team. And probably use her to fight all these guys and get some experience. Because she's level 24. She needs some experience if we're gonna... Get her to where everyone else is. Found a revive up there. Sneaky, sneaky.
Looks like there's a bunch of areas you can go to if you have cut, but I don't want to teach anyone my, on my party cut. So that's kind of a problem. Oh! Quoba's first fight is against the Gyarados. That's unexpected. She looks back at me and is like, you serious? Okay, um... Well... I can still take her- take this guy down, but that's not very effective. Okay. Hmm... Maybe I should try different moves. Okay, maybe I should just take out Sile. Are you kidding me? I just gave her a fucking super potion to heal her up so she could get the experience, and of course, you fucking one-hit shot her. God fucking damn it. She needs experience, and you fucking murder her. guy is a Monferno. It's the evolution of Chimchar. It's also gonna die, because I have Bluebell out. Because I just decided to kind of just keep going. I didn't really want to go all the way back through. The thing again, I'll just level up. Uh, Quoba later. can't survive a single goddamn battle! Every single time I put her out, she just dies! Ugh! Are you fucking serious?! It's just a random wild encounter and I can't run away and I immediately die because fuck you. Fuck you, what does this game have against my frog? Well, I'm back here at Pistoria. There's a guy here. It's Will. Does my new outfit look good? I agree, Korogonk is where it's at, but I can't use him. Hey, one of my chopped liver, don't forget- I, I would literally talk to you! Where's this Galak? Boom! Alright. That was rough. You, what have you done? What I've done, you're asking? Or technically speaking, it wasn't me. It was a bomb. I was pushed the button, so I did it. And he just runs away. Oh, so this is where the Great Marsh is. So now we chase after the Galactic guy. Hi, buddy. So he's going to the lake. We can go to the lake, too. Oh, he's right there. And hey, look, it's a chat talk. I want a chat talk. Not to actually have in my party, but because Chat Dot is cool and also I need something that's going to be able to learn fly. Uh, cause you'll notice that nobody on my team can fly at the moment. I've kind of resigned myself, accepting my fate. For right now. I swear, if you frickin' murder me in one hit, again. I swear to fucking God! 
Why is Quoba just dead? A hundred percent of the time. Every single time I try and do anything with Quoba, she just dies. It's so infuriating. Live through a single attack, please. Yeah, I just need a I just need something that can use fly. I'm gonna I'm I kinda resigned myself. It's basically what I did in Pearl as well, because there's a lot of great Pokemon, but it's so fucking it's stupid, really. It's just it's stupid to have to form a team around an HM. It really is. It always is will be in these older Pokemon games. But the benefit of Fly is that you can admittedly awkwardly, but you can still manage to use Fly by just swapping out your Pokemon every single time you need to. It's what I did in my Pearl playthrough, so it's what I will use here. It's frustrating, but it's manageable, and so I'm just kind of accepting it. But I do want a Pokemon that can use it. I swear to god, you fucking asshole. I'm gonna paralyze you. Oh, fuck you! Fine! Be that fucking way! What the hell is this? That move that makes it that effective? effort for a Pokemon that I'm not even gonna be using on my team. Yay! Get in the PC so I can fly around when I want to. I wanted to chat out because chat out is cool. I like I like chat out. But realistically, it didn't really matter what I was using here. Because, again, I'm not really using them for a team. I'm just... They're, here, they're there so I can fly with them. Okay, he runs away. I'm gonna heal up again. Because Quoba's dead again. So we just gotta chase him over here. Here he is. Yada yada, talking to himself. Oh my god, why are you here? I don't fucking care about you. You don't add anything. You literally just repeat everything going on around you. You are not worthwhile or entertaining or endearing. You just waste time. Like looker, I'm not, I'm not even gonna talk to him. I don't care. <laughs> he serves no worthwhile purpose. Why am I running? New universe, yada yada yada. Your eavesdropping. I'm pooped out from the running. I'm not gonna battle you. And he runs away anyway. Okay. You're still on my tail. Lakes within sight. You leave me with choice. My Pokemon. Okay, we finally fight this dude. Excitement! He's one Pokemon and... You know what? No. I'm not even gonna bother. If I'm gonna get Quoba experience on any in any capacity, it can't be on her own right now. She can't survive. 
I hate that she can't survive, but she can't survive. So instead, I'll just use Yuryu and murder this thing. Take out all my frustrations. I wonder if that ch chatter move that the chat thought was using was a psychic type move. Because that would explain why it was murdering me so easily. Alright. Can't battle anymore. I'm running on themes, so I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Okay. Hi. Hello, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? Cynthia. Read the fucking room, lady. Came to research the folklore of the lake, but it doesn't appear it's open to the public. There's an island inside the lake, and the island is an island of the Mirage, and the Mirage and a run that no one must enter. I had to talk to you about something else. Where'd that Galactic Boon run off to? Is this your older sister? No, she isn't? Okay. The explosion in the Great Marsh? It wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. But Team Galactic? Ah, oh, are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson you won't forget. See you around. He's your friend? He's more impatient than he is energetic. So getting back to what I started saying earlier. Have you seen the group of Psyduck? Yes. That's right. By the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their hands. You should use this medicine on the Psyduck. Okay. I went on a big adventure when I had the Pokedex when I was younger. I hope to get you get to meet every Pokemon. Okay. Alright, so that's still locked off to the public. Alright, well. We have a way to progress now. So that's good, at least. So, I'm gonna head back to Pastoria. Because it's just the nearest location, really. A Wingle. It's the same level as me. Dare I try? I believe in you, Koba. Ha! Which one's better? Faint or attacker? Pursuit, I'm not sure. Let's see which one does more damage. Faint attack. Alright. Quoba! You did it! You survived a battle! It's a miracle! Can only go up from here. Alright. She'll be useful. Eventually. She's gotta work our way up there. The good news is, now that we have a full team of Pokemon though, like... Yeah, things will be useful. Anyways. Uh, this is what I'm gonna basically have to do every single time I want to fly. Just put someone away. With withdraw a chatterbox. Uh, not teach them fly every single time, but teach them fly for now, of course. Chatter's flying type. Oh, it's, it's super effective in terms of, the, like, the fighting type thing. Okay. So it's not even quadruple effective, it's just single effective. Alright, whatever. I guess it's just that strong. Well, Chatterbox knows fly now. So now with that in mind... Now... We go to fly... Over to Salation. And now I put them away. And take back out Dubio or whoever else I decide to use. So, it's mildly annoying. But hopefully I, I won't need to fly all the time everywhere. We'll see. Wow, 
Why is there a Pikachu here? Oh. It's just some guy who's dressed up as a Pikachu. Okay. Oh, Koba might actually be decent for this. She's not, like, too far off in levels. Now it's a Pikachu. Yay. And now you're gonna paralyze me. Screw you. I don't like you very much, Mr. Pikachu. Mrs. Pikachu. You're a girl. No, I'm dumb. I don't have anything to say. I was kind of be ending the episode. I was just confused why there was a Pikachu. <laughs> Extension of the episode. Excitement. It's another Pikachu. This one's also a girl. Alright, just need to get out one more attack. Paralysis and the evasion, that's gonna suck though. So I'm just gonna cut to when it happens. Or not, because I didn't need to cut, it just kinda happened. Cool, thanks Corvo. Maybe faint attack is just one that hits no matter what? I'm not sure. I, I don't remember what moves do, honestly, but I think that was pretty clear. Alright, well Koba got a level, that's good. I don't want to talk to that kid anymore. Let, let's, let's not. How about that? Alright. So, yeah. Let's go heal those Psyduck. And end the episode. They're right up here. Hi. The Psyduck are cured. We save the day. And then they just leave. And Cynthia's just here. Oh good, you use a secret potion. The Nona suffer from headaches. No one's been able to trigger things. I want you to deliver this to grandma. Okay. Over the river and through the woods. Okay. Goodbye, Cynthia. Make me do your chores for you. Alright, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum version. We're gonna go north and do stuff. See you guys then.